Hey everyone, my name is Jordan Goddard and I am the new Miss District of Columbia International 2017 and it is an honor to finally introduce myself to you as I begin to prepare to compete for the ultimate title Miss International 2017 which is coming up in August in Charleston, West Virginia. Now the purpose of this video is actually twofold. The first purpose is that I would like to thank a couple people who have been especially instrumental in the beginning of my journey as Miss DC International. And the second purpose of this video is to actually hopefully turn it into somewhat of a top 10 video. I would like to introduce myself to you and give you a little bit of background information about me in the form of a top 10 list. So. Those of you who already follow me on Facebook or Instagram, or of course, those of you who already know me personally, might not find some of this information as a surprise. However, I think even those who do know me might at least find one or two things that they did not know. So, hopefully I can surprise you just a little bit, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, the first part of this video is just a brief thank you to several people who I think have been very instrumental in the beginning of my reign as Miss DC International 2017. And obviously, the first two people that come immediately to my mind are Emily and Joseph, my state directors. When I received the call from Emily and Joseph saying that they thought I would be a great representative for the District of Columbia, I was very, very humbled. Not only does this mean that they believe that I might be a contender for the Miss International title, but it also, and more importantly, means that they believe in my platform, Arts Integration, and they think that I can take it even further than I already have had the honor to do. So a special thank you obviously to Emily and Joseph for believing in me and for helping me see this rain through. The third person that I would like to thank is actually one of my Miss DC International sponsors, the famed, the only Miss International pageant coach herself, Susie Boots. Now let me be clear, I only had a one hour long phone conference with Susie and if I wasn't concerned about the length of this video, I think I could effectively sing her praises for about the next 10 minutes and not get tired. I'm not going to do that. However, Susie really knows her stuff, and it was an honor to really kickstart my DC International reign by getting the opportunity to talk to her about interview skills and also about my platform of arts integration. Susie has made me feel really confident in basically planning out my year as Miss DC International and hopefully Miss International 2017. So Susie, if you're watching, thank you so much and I do hope to work with you in the very near future. And the last person, but not really the last person, that I'd like to thank is Miss DC International 2016 herself, Shannon O'Brien. Shannon, to me, is an extremely special person and is someone I absolutely look up to for her unreserved kindness. And if you know her, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Shannon has set the bar very high for the DC International Organization and I thank her for providing a goal that I can only endeavor to reach. All right, you guys, so let's kickstart this top 10 list. And the only reason I'm starting with this one is because you can actually see number one in the corner of your screen. That's right, number one. I have a bunny named Ella. <laughs> she's really cute. She's also probably really scared that I'm picking her up right now. But I live with my bunny, and she's really cute and fluffy, and I can't help but speak to her in kind of a really stupid, hi, bunny. Isn't she so cute? Onward to number two. That's right, everybody. I cannot live without my calendar slash planner. If I don't write it down, it probably doesn't exist. In fact, I rely on them so much that I actually have three separate calendars. One is online, one is right here in this book, and the other is right there on my wall so I wake up and I see exactly what I'm supposed to do every single day. Number three. All right, so number three. My second dream job, because let's be honest, I already have my first dream job of being a third grade teacher, but my second dream job is actually to be a firefighter or work in emergency services. My dad's a retired firefighter and fire chief. My mom is a retired paramedic and used to work for 911 services in Prince George's County. And it was really funny, just last week, we had a situation where we had to call the non-emergency number and my principal, who is awesome, by the way, uh, asked the office staff, what's the non-emergency number? And I rattled it off. 
just like that without even a second thought. So it kind of runs in the family, but yeah, I would love to work for emergency services if I wasn't already a teacher. So you might have already noticed that I kind of like to talk with my hands. Yes, it's actually a chore for me to not talk with my hands. So this means that I really like to fidget. I basically do all of the things that I might tell my students to stop doing, stop fidgeting, stop playing with that, stop doing this. In reality, I relate to them a little bit more than they might think because I fidget a lot. And recently, and I don't know how she knew that I wanted one, my mama bought me a fidget cube, which is designed specifically specifically for fidgeting purposes. Number five. Nope, that's ten. Number five. Alright, so one of the things that I actually like to do in my spare time is basic graphic design. Now let me be clear, I don't really know how to code or anything like that, but if you need me to make something that looks pretty nifty, like a flyer or an advertisement or a yearbook, yes, I can do those things. I think in my, I don't know, the last few years I have made about seven yearbooks. I have designed many, many pageant flyers, including my own for national program books and other pageant systems. I don't know, I just really like throwing colors and shapes and pictures and fonts together and seeing what kind of, I don't know, comes out of it looking kind of neat. Number six. So there are three things that I am mildly obsessed with, and I'm about to name them for you now. Number one, and my students can vouch for this, is that I'm a little bit obsessed with owls. Now, basically anybody else who knew me from elementary school might be able to vouch for the fact that I'm also mildly obsessed with Sailor Moon comics. I've had all of the comics and all of the TV shows ever since I was about third grade. Used to come home and watch her every single day. Definitely my hero. And of course, I was late to the game. However, I am totally obsessed with Harry Potter. I basically know everything there is to know about the entire series. Trust me, ask me a trivia question. Number seven. Now I've been competing in pageants and involved in pageantry for quite a number of years. And the one thing that always seems to happen with girls who stick with pageantry is they get better at taking care of themselves. I mean, I was really green several years ago and now I feel like I've, I've learned how to do my makeup, I've learned how to dress, but the one thing I have not become more adept at, no matter how hard I try, is my hair. I still do not know how to curl my own hair, and this is a problem. So please, if there's anybody out there that can teach me how to use a flat iron to curl my hair, please send me a message. I'm in desperate need of help, as you can see. Number eight. Now, number eight is kind of just a, a random fun fact. Um, if you were to take a look around my apartment, you would notice that there's one thing missing that most people already have, and that is a television. That's right, I do not own a television and I do not pay for cable. And so this doesn't really make a difference to me because I'm usually either always working or I'm always doing something else that would prevent me from watching television. However, the only time that I ever get really upset about not having a television is when it comes time for Miss America, Miss Universe, and Miss USA, which is coming up. So I might have a bit of a problem. Almost to the end with number nine. So number nine is more like a teaching fact than anything. If there is one thing that I dislike about teaching more than just about anything else, honestly, it's grading papers. And I'm pretty sure other teachers might agree with me when they say that they tend to cart around abnormally large stacks of paper, such as this one, in hopes that somehow some magic fairy will come down and it will end up just being graded all on its own. That doesn't normally happen. However, I am likely to be seeing carting around large stacks of paper in hopes that, I don't know, I might get bored enough to grade papers. It's not gonna happen. We have made it. Number 10 gives you a little bit of insight about me as a person, and to put it short and sweet, I'm usually shy and quite nervous. As a pageant title holder, it's basically your job to engage with others. But surprisingly enough, it's quite difficult for me to do that, especially you know when I'm trying to overcome the initial hurdle or when faced with an unfamiliar situation or a group of unfamiliar people. 
That being said, it certainly won't stop me from stepping outside of my comfort zone. It just makes me work a little bit harder. All right, everyone, that is the end of the video. And thank you so much for sticking with me and showing your support. I hope you were able to learn at least one or two more interesting things about me, Miss DC International 2017. I do hope to represent the District of Columbia very well at Miss International 2017 coming up in August. So if you would like to keep up exactly with what I'm doing in the community, please make sure to follow my Instagram account as well as the official Facebook page right here. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and until the next video or post, I will see you later. Bye!